patient presented with pain and swelling in the lateral aspect of the elbow joint on examination there was considerable tenderness in the region of the lateral epicondyle of the humerus this patient was not responding to conservative treatment and an mri was requested by the treating physician the mri revealed increased thickness and signal intensity changes of the common extensor tendon origin at the lateral epicondyle what we call lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow tennis elbow usually occurs due to degeneration and tearing of the common extensor tendon which involves common car- ex- uh, carpi radialis brevis common digitorum communis and extensor carpi ulnaris but it is the radialis brevis portion which is usually mostly involved in this case we can see the nice thick pd hyperintense common extensor tendon typical of tennis elbow however there was another issue with this patient this patient was not being able to extend his arm completely there was a kind of locking sensation a snapping was also felt during complete extension careful review of the mri revealed a hypo intense band in the radio capitular aspect of the elbow joint this is what we call a synovial plica which is nothing but a fold of synovial tissue remnant of the embryonic septa of the normal articular development the most common plica in elbow is the radio capitular one the posterior lateral aspect it fills the joint space and typically doesn't allow complete extension of the elbow repeated stress leads to chondromalacic changes as we see in the capitulum in this case this patient was subjected to arthroscopic surgery removal of the plica and the and the tennis elbow aspect was treated conservatively